Our Father, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. worshipping other gods. If a prophet or one who foretells by dreams appears among you and announces to you a miraculous sign or wonder, and if the sign or wonder of which he has spoken takes place and he says, let us follow other gods, gods you have not known, and let us worship them, you must not listen to the words of that prophet or dreamer. The Lord your God is testing you to find out whether you love him with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your soul and with all your strength. It is the Lord your God you must follow and him you must revere. Keep his commands and obey him. Serve him and hold fast to him. Couldn't be clearer than that, could it? It's said many times in different ways, but throughout, uh, that was Deuteronomy chapter 13, but, I mean, the Ten Commandments, I am a jealous God, thou shalt have no other gods but me. And Moses came down off the mountain, they had made a golden calf, Israel, the Jews, the Israelites, whatever. That's just the way it is. Like it or not, that is the way it is. So this idea of mixing and matching, you know, bits of this and that, other people's faith, and that you can have, you know, even just to do good, people say, well, I do good to other people. Miss the point. First one commandment is, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and all thy soul, and all thy mind, and all thy strength. This is the first and great commandment, and the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> 